I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it, and this has been like a therapy session. This is Kim Cassius for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're waiting here for Ramirez and Bibble. Tomorrow night, live on The Zone, I'm joined by Alicia Baumgartner again. Again. It's like a pool party, yeah? Pool party is dope. The weather is beautiful. I'm so excited to be here. How excited? Super excited. Listen, I'm celebrating my win against Michaela Mayer, unified champion of the world in Abu Dhabi. It's the perfect vacation. Absolutely. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to refer to social media now. All right. Because we love social media. It runs the world, apparently. Are you a Twitter or Instagram? I'm both. Okay. But this is for the benefit of Twitter. So, okay, so I want to read you out two tweets in the last 24 hours from Michaela Mayer, which you've probably already seen, and I want you to tell me what you think about these tweets. Okay, the first one is, at some point yesterday, Michaela Mayer said, I wouldn't want to rematch anyone that whooped my ass either. She's a saucy bitch at the end of the day. When somebody understands that they lost and they can take that win as a real G, like, take that. And maybe you may get my respect to, to get a rematch. But at the end of the day, she's delusional. She understands that she has no, no power to her name and that she has to work her way up. So do that. Okay. Just in general, though, when fighters believe that they won a fight, whether it was close or not, that's subjective, but if they believe they won the fight, is there any problem with them saying that they believe they won the fight? There's not a problem to think that you won a fight, but you don't get paid to think. And at the end of the day, if you have a good team that's watching the fight with you, they're going to be honest with you and let you know that you lost the fight, fair and square, period. Okay, I'm going to come to a second tweet from Michaela Mayer from yesterday. Uh, pin tweet as well, so obviously, okay. Three minute rounds would solve all this discretion. I love that. Three minutes, she would have got to even... Say what you want on IFL, it's fine. Listen, if it was three minutes, she would have got to ask, like, her ass... She probably, I, would have, I would have stopped her at the end of the day. Three minutes is perfect because two minutes goes by so quick. And when you're dealing with two high level fighters, they need that extra time to really dominate. And again, I dominate in two minutes. So just think about three minutes and what I would do. Do you know what, from a fan perspective, because there are some people out there that believe that it was closer than what you said, okay? For that reason alone, wouldn't you want to rematch her anyway? I mean, look, I'm not saying there's a, a great depth in, in terms of numbers of, of people you can fight. There are people, loads, you've got loads of options. We spoke about it the other day. But may has got to be, the rematch has got to be a option there, surely, because it was a great fight. And as a fan, would I want to see it again? Absolutely. Just like anything, boxing has many options. I'm not saying that that rematch couldn't have happened. But it's not, it's not important to me right now. I, like I said plenty of times, I want to be undisputed at 130. I would like to move up to 135. Mayor is on my to-do list whenever I want, want to. You know what I mean? There's bigger fights than Mayor to make. There's a Katie Taylor. There's a Mana Serrano. There's the winner of Chantel and Jessica McCaskill. I'm ready to really showcase who I am as a fighter and really make my um, statement in this, in this sport. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. But listen, enough of that talk anyway, because you're on vacation. I am. But you're kind of working as well, because you've done a few interviews as well. Yeah, you know, it's it's nice to be out here for vacation, but at the, at the end of the day, I love doing interviews. I love commentating for matchroom boxing, and again, just being and making my statement in the sport of boxing. Absolutely. It's your sister there, isn't it? Yeah, that's her. That's her. Can't we drag her in? Yeah, bring her in, bring her in. What's her name? Jenny. Denny. Denny. Yep. Yo, Denny! Denny! She's Come here. Come to the interview, sis. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do right now. Hi, Denny. Hello. You all right? 
I want you to ask Danny two questions, anything you want. It could relate from 20 years ago or 20 minutes ago. Okay, say less. Here, hold this. But so what? It, okay, say less. Wait, wait, wait. You're not in the shop. There we go. Come closer. So what is it like having a sister who's the unified champion of the world? It's overwhelming, and I'm always, like, excited to brag about you. I just, like, cannot wait to tell everybody about you because you're amazing. And it's just, I think it's really exciting to see that everybody else now sees you and sees your light. So, yeah. I love that answer. Now, one more question for the fans. If you could see any fight that I would um, love to fight, who would that be? I want to see you get all four belts. So, whoever that next girl is. And that too. Ciao. Choi. Choi. <laughs> <laughs> and but for the, the for the people who don't know why this fight is important, could you give them a few a few details on why it's important to me? I think you worked very, very hard to get here. And I think that if you don't follow boxing or know what it looks like to get to this level. I don't know if you'll even ever understand even how, it doesn't matter how many interviews you watch, there's just like a certain grind and grit that goes into it and we're just, I don't know, it's just, it's overwhelming, I don't know, I'm just so happy, I'm just so happy for you. And you heard it here first from my older sister, Denny, I love you. Can you fight Denny? She can fight, she can scrap. Right, here we go. No, no. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Denny, you go first. Hey, she, she was a scrapper. Okay, say less. Okay, I need I need you. You understand. You know your boxing stance because you, she used to box. Oh right. She used to be in the gym. And I need you. I need you to hit that thing. Okay. Yes, you can hit it hard. It's been a very long time. I told my dad, our dad, that I'm a lover, not a fighter. So uh, <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> That's okay. Go ahead. It. She, she can do a lot better than that, but we'll get we'll take that. Okay, one more time. Okay, from the side. <laughs> Let me show her something real quick. Here, hold the mic. Lisi was always naturally talented. She literally was born with a six pack, so. How does it feel? <laughs> Hold it to her. Hold it to her. It's gone out. How does it feel? <laughs> How does it? <laughs> How does it feel to make your dreams come true? It feels amazing because with all the hard work, it always pays off. And in, and as long as you believe in yourself and you believe in the abilities that you're able to to do, you will see that life is what you make it. And I've literally done that. I've proved the doubters wrong, the naysayers, and I believed in myself, and I was able to push through and become the unified champion of the world. Alicia Bamgardner, and also Denny, thank you very much for your time.
Um, I don't know who's coming through now. Is it Team Bivol, I think? Um, yeah. Appreciate your time and uh, we look forward to your next fight news. Thank you. Um, we want to get back as early as spring, so hopefully January and February. Um, it's important that I stay busy, stay in the ring, and stay on top. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.